Hello everyone, just getting some stuff set up, then we'll get started. Doing a Wizard Cup draft tonight, so that's exciting. If I can ever get my Twitch hooked up. Just when you couldn't find something to watch. Guess I'm gonna have to abandon Twitch chat. Oh, maybe here we go. See if this works. What? Must pass the test. Make sure I'm a human. I passed. That's good. I think I got that figured out. Now I need to announce that I'm streaming. Okay, got that done. Got that muted, have everyone here. Think your brain is melted? Yeah, I understand why that could happen. Looks like we're going to get started with this draft. Um, let me know if you have any issues with anything. Closing down the store tonight. Got me in the background. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Waffle fries, myth, Lord debacle, Ronnie. Doing a D&D &D draft in the Wizard Cup. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out Wizard yet. Uh, sweet to Frog Hemoth. I like Frog Hemoth. Fun card. Um, red black is supposedly the best, but uh, find it hard to turn down a frog hemoth. Um, clean is also really good if you know you're going in red black no matter what. Guild Thief and Ginny Seer are both good blue cards, but blue's awful. I think uh, this is really the only good green card in the pack, so hopefully that means people around us will not be taking green. Um, I like green-red. There aren't a lot of strong red cards in this pack. Although, red-black could be good. I'm 
Ronnie's not going to be chatty. That's so sad. Appreciate anybody who's hanging out. If you could hit that thumbs up button, that'd be pretty sweet. Ooh, I said I wanted to be red black and I a red green and I got a magic missile and a Zorn. Um, Zorn's probably not going to be great in here. Magic missile's really good removal. Tiger tribe hunter is pretty good. Zorn is crazy in a red black deck, which you could be with Sepulcher Ghoul. Um, unfortunately, this means somebody might be going into red next to us. I think I'm going to take the magic missile here. Not crazy about Direwolf Prowler or Compelled Duels. Somebody took an uncommon from this pack before us. Sorting Scanning, that sounds thrilling. The rare is Junk. Um, suppose the hunt is good. That means at least two people next to us probably are not in green. Definitely happy to take that. Bull strength would be nice to get back. Um, so two uncommons have been taken, so we don't have a ton of information here, other than the fact that the rare is not good. Um, but I'm always for more removal. Ooh, price of loyalty. It's good if you have sacrifice outlets, which we don't. But I think I just want to take it so somebody else doesn't have it. Black's looking like it's pretty open with this hive of the eye tyrant coming this late. Um, I don't want to abandon green yet, but red black is looking open. We'll take the price of loyalty. We don't really have a way to sacrifice, but it could be a game winner. Um, not a huge fan of goblin javelin here. Uh, plundering barbarian can be really good. So removal's better than draw. Um, it depends on the format. I generally like removal better. Um, they say it's bread, bombs, removal, evasion. Um, and I don't know what A and D stand for. Somebody else looked it up for me before and I forgot what it is already. Um, so black's definitely open. Green might be pretty hard to stay in, but Frog Kemoth is so good. I'm going to take the Valor Singer here. We can at least cement ourselves in red. <laughs> Potentially switch to black if we need to. Dirt. Bombs removal, synergy are your three keys. Aggro and dirt duds. Minion of the mighty is not good. Green pretty much dried up. There's no black in this pack. Red's not great. There's nothing. There's some decent white. <clears throat> Veteran dungeoneer could be good. Um, Spike Pit Trap could be playable if we need to. Um, Brazendorf is a two drop. I don't really see us rolling any dice though. We might need some two drops though. We already have two pieces of removal. I think we're going to take the one, three. Probably not going to get much value out of it, but it's a two drop if we need it. Okay, so black is really open. Green is not really open. I hate not playing Frog Hemoth, but I think we're switching to red black. Blue is also really, really open. Green looks like we have quite a few green players. Could have taken Circle of the Moon Druid. I didn't even see that there. So blinded by the Drider. So that might have been a mistake. 
We'll see what's in the next pack. I'm just thoroughly confused now. Probably not playing you find a cursed idol. So we have two green cards and two black cards. We're definitely in red, I think. Maybe we should have taken planner ally here and moved into white. Okay. Um, nobody took the other green card out of this pack. So do I take black or do I take green? Frog is just so good. I think I'm going to try to stay in green. Um, black and red are supposed to be really good. Looks like staying in green might have been smart here. Um, probably take the elemental. Um, red and black are supposedly the best colors. Um, I've had a lot of luck with red green. I'm very confused by this draft. Boule is not great, but it is in our colors. Um, I typically run two colors in Adventures of the Hidden Realms. Um, you can definitely splash a third color if you get a bomby rare. Um, very rarely you can run like mono red if you just get really lucky and then that can be awesome um i always forget that we play best of three so plummet is a great sideboard card because you can side that in against flyers and that is trash see so we open in pack two hopefully something good teleportation circle it's good but it's not in our colors and we're not moving um Grim Bounty would be great if we were in black. There's no good red cards in this pack. Spools of the Hunt is good, though, so we're going to take that. Let's see what we get passed to us. Hopefully some good red and green. Come on, people, give us some good cards. Really need some two drops. Um, some bomby rares would be sweet. You guys can't hear my music. I'm just now figuring this out. I don't know why. Goblin Morning Star is really good, but so is Plundering Barbarian and Hoarding Ogre. But Goblin Morning Star is a two drop. So we're going to take that. And I count that as a creature, personally. So why can you not hear my music? There we go. Well, I had to be boring for you guys. You should say something. Evolving Wilds is good if that comes around, but I'm sure somebody will take that pretty early. Um, party time says Ronnie. I've been listening to music the whole time. You guys are the ones who aren't. Red Dragon. That's really good. So is Intrepid Outlander. But you have to take the Red Dragon. There's no question. There's a lot of good stuff. I guess we'll see. So pick number... How many cards have we taken? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is pick 3. Um... So pick number 11, hopefully we get something back.
I'd be happy with any of the red or green cards back from this pack. But we're probably going to be left with a Ginny Windseer, a Paladin Shield, and a Shortcut Seeker if I had to guess. Paladin class? What? That's crazy. I kind of just want to hate draft that, to be honest. We can't play it. Can we? No, we really can't play it. Probably gonna lose that Paladin class. Gonna take another price of loyalty here. We don't have any sack outlets, it's not great, but at least we don't have to face them. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten creatures and five spells. Um, happy with the two drop basilisk here. I'm not going to be getting much back from this pack, unfortunately. We have three removal spells. I want to find a way to not play that brazen dwarf. So one three whenever you roll one or more dice deals one damage to each opponent but we don't have anything except goblin morning star that rolls dice so far an earth cult elemental i guess it could be all right if we get some hoarding ogres okay um null hunter and bull strength are really good here i'm gonna take the null hunter though um hope the bull strength tables I don't think it will actually i don't even know if we get a second pick from this pack I don't think we do. And if we do, it'll be something bad, like Monk class. <laughs> We're gonna start getting to uh, the leftovers of the packs and there's not gonna be much good left over, unfortunately. Okay, so we got another Null Hunter Bull Strength. I think I still want another Null Hunter. I haven't seen any Hobgoblin Captains at all, which is kind of weird. I think we saw one really early before we decided we were in red. I haven't seen any since. Red has actually kind of dried up a lot. I think we probably have a lot of people fighting over red. Green might be a little more open. Take the giant here. Probably gonna be cutting one of these six drops if I had to guess. I think it'd probably be the Earth Cult Elemental. Wow, there's literally nothing left in our colors. Blue is super open. So what don't I want my opponents to have? I don't have any enchantments that can kill us, so I'm not worried about that. Probably don't want somebody to have a split the party. Get another elemental. Not really interested in that. Um, there's nothing particularly good here, so I guess we'll take that.
Okay, so we got some good red cards back here. Happy with that. Definitely cutting one of these six drop elementals now. I am drafting um, in the Wizard Cup. Tank Diner, how are you doing tonight? How's your hand doing? Hopefully it's getting better. Ooh, Inspiring Bard came back, nice. Not a great card, um, not an awful card, but it's definitely a playable card. Can play that if we need to. We'll not be playing that. Come on, good rare. Or mythic. Mythic would be better. Loyal Warhound is not in our colors. Burning Hands is good. So is Hoarding Ogre. I think I take the Burning Hands. It's a removal spell, not the best, but if you target a green permanent, which unfortunately I'm one of the green decks at the table. Um, it's two damage for two. There's a lot of weak creatures here in this format. Can also use it in combination with an attack to get some stuff out, so. Got some possibilities there. We're almost at playables, 23 cards. Hertz had to pull a bunch of crap onto a Dave and Buster's roof today. Sorry to hear that, Tank Niner. Long rest is bad, don't need another one of those. Another price of loyalty, probably don't need to worry about that at this point. Hoarding Ogre could definitely be good though. That or a Null Hunter. I haven't seen Hoarding Ogres come back, I've seen Null Hunters come back. I think the Hoarding Ogre, probably cut a Boule at this point. Do you think it's going to get better, or do you think you're just going to have to take some time off to uh, let that heal? Just work. Doc says it's a cinder. I'm not sure how to spell it. Yeah, I don't blame you for not knowing how to spell that. I wouldn't be able to spell it either. Ooh, Green Dragon. No Hunter. Armory Veteran. I think we're going to take another No Hunter. Green Dragon is probably one of my least favorite dragons. It is a dragon, though. Do I need another two drop? I really do want to get rid of this Brazen Dwarf. Having three Null Hunters pretty early would probably be good. But will the Null Hunter come back? And the Green Dragon probably won't. I think I will take the Green Dragon. Hopefully I don't regret that. Hopefully the Syndrome heals over time. Bard class, not great. Another price of loyalty. I definitely don't need any more of those. Circle of the Moon Druid will probably fit well in here. Got lots of inventory in stock for tomorrow night for anybody who's interested. I think I've updated the site with everything, so that's kind of cool. Ooh, Targnar. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Got uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realm set in Collector Boosters back in stock. Got 
Um, what else did I get? Got Syndicate Rising Collectors. I got Strixhaven Collectors back in stock. Pretty much everything is back in stock. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Gonna eventually be cracking a Core 2021 box for, uh, for Ronnie. Ronnie said he's busy, he might not be in chat tonight, Tank Niner, but uh, I'm sure he'll pop by eventually. Um, I don't really see anything I want to play here. I guess I'll take the Ranger, but I don't think I'm playing it. I might play it. Gothling Fingers! Hopefully, uh, Landhead ends up being alright after his scare today. It's an interesting conversation in the Discord. Took a while to figure everything out, but I think we finally got it now. How are you doing tonight, RT Hayes? RT Hayes is technically under the weather. Hope you feel better soon. Am I going to play a Scaled Herbalist? Probably not. Do I want somebody playing Tasha's Hideous Laughter against me? Definitely not. Although I don't think they would really win with that. I guess I'll take the Herbalist just in case I want to play it. Drafted a bunch today and worked on your collection. Drafted on Arena, I assume. Got another Boule, which I do not want. You find a Curse Idol. Can be a good sideboard card, though. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 creatures. Gotta cut a creature. Maybe a spell. Um, honestly, probably ditching a price of loyalty here, I think. Probably gonna grab another one of these for the sideboard. I think this is our deck right now. I know RT Hayes. Oh, you're saying for everybody in Discord, yeah. RT Hayes is Whiskey Cigar, for those of you that don't know. Don't think I'm playing that. Although that will be a good sideboard card against Flyers. Am I like super excited about my deck? No. Am I super scared about my deck? Also no. Don't want anybody having that devoted paladin. Ace rack, ace rack or whatever it is. Um, I did pull one of those for somebody last stream. Uh, that's the most playable card. I guess I should probably get Arena up and running. Oh man, we got the wish. Nobody wanna draft that. Do I have any rares in my deck? I have a Frog Hemoth. Let me see if I can play this on my main account. I think I should be able to. Ah uh, yes, that's what it was. He is insane and limited. The question is, will I get to play him in limited? 
It's always the question. See if we import this deck, what I have to craft. Nothing. That's what I like to see. Okay. It says 10-7. Is that really what I want to play? Probably close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Probably want to go 8 and 9 to be honest with you. This is Wiz Cup 22. I think I'm happy with this deck. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Okay, so let's switch over to Arena so you guys can see what's going on. I think that's this one. Look, I switched sides. Whoosh. Um, pull up Discord over here. Probably mute Discord. We're playing wizard. That'll be interesting. Gonna go ahead and challenge to a limited tournament match. And wait for him to uh, respond. So, while we wait for that, how are y'all doing tonight, now that I can spend some time? No fireballs or magic missiles. I do have a magic missile. Um, is the challenge still outgoing? Does it still work? It does. Okay, good. Um, so here's our deck. Hey Darnell, how are you doing? Um... We have a Burning Hands, Price Loyalty, Magic Missile, um, two Spoils of the Hunt, and a Dueling Raper. Um, we have a Goblin Morning Star, two Null Hunters, Underdark Basilisk, Targnar, Valor Singer, Circle of Moon Druid, Dire Wolf Prowler, Hoarding Over Boule, Inspiring Bards, Swarming Goblins, Elter Guard Ranger, Frog Hemoth, Red Dragon, Green Dragon, and Hill Giant Herd Gorder. Here we go. Good luck to Wizard. Um, Wizard hosts the Wizard Cup. If you guys haven't had a chance to check him out, you can go to twitch.tv slash wizard138 and see the other side of what's going on. Jacob Miller, thanks for subscribing. If you're in chat, drop in and say hi. This is a good hand as long as we draw some land. The Wizard Mulligan already? Did I miss that? Oh no. Wizards having a bad day. Already forfeited the first game. My guess is two no land hands or two all land hands or all lands of one color and cards of another color. That or wizard is not feeling well. I think wizard is not feeling well. I think I heard him concede again already. Um, that is unfortunate. Hopefully he's feeling all right, or he picked the wrong deck. Um, let me see if I can find him in his server. What 
happened. Let me find Wizard's Twitch. See what's going on. <laughs> Loaded the wrong deck. Let's uh, try again. Limited tournament match. Okay, good luck. The wizard. Now that we have the right decks, I still get to play first, and now I get this hand. This is awful. Um, but do we go for it? No, we don't. That is not much better, but uh, we can make this work. Well, I was really happy with our hand the first time. And then Wizard messes it up. I call cheats. Cheats, I tell ya. Um... What do we play here? I think we play the Basilisk. Stream sniping. No, Wizard does not do that. Oh no, he's got the red black deck. Well, the good news is we can take care of that right away. See you later. See if, oh good, we rolled high. Got the Goblin Morning Star out. Throw the Null Hunter out. And just uh, sit back and relax for a little bit. Now that we're officially out of cards. Looks like he's gonna kill something. I know he's probably got at least a couple price of loyalty, so he's going to steal some stuff. And then he's probably going to sack some stuff. There we go, stealing some stuff. Now he's going to sack the Null Hunter. Yep. Well, that was fun. And we get lands. What do you know, chat? Well. I was excited for our first game. And uh, now we just have an awful game because our hand was awful. I call shenanigans, chat. Shenanigans.
I don't think we really have a way to come back from this. He's probably got another price of loyalty and then we're gonna be pretty much dead. Okay, that's awful for us as well. Never gonna financially recover from this. I think you're probably accurate. I have to take this, unfortunately. He's going to drain us here. We're not going to show him that. Cheating, I tell you. Cheating. We don't really have any answers. We're just gonna have to run it back. Zendikar Rising's been redo lately. Need to win a box topper that's fire. Just do a whole box, RT Hayes. Then you're guaranteed two box toppers. No odds involved. Well, the red-black deck that Wizard's playing is supposedly the best one in the archetype. Um, I think if we had our hand from the very first time we drew a hand, it would have worked out. Um, probably would have had a chance, uh, but our two hands in that first game with his correct deck were awful. I just got three boxes, RT Hayes, in the mail. We need a land chat, a mountain to be specific. We got a forest, that's not a mountain. We need a mountain chat. There's a mountain. I'm tempted to steal that. Let's do it for fun. I do, that's how it works. I still roll. Even when there's one pack left and you got one pack, I still roll. I don't know what I want to draw here. It doesn't really matter, so I'm going to draw whatever I draw. He's probably thinking what his best move is here. He doesn't want me to get that pack tactics boost next attack, which I will get with the Valor Singer Null Hunter. A ghoul, okay. Is he gonna steal something and sack it? He does. Well, that stinks.
That was unfortunate. Do I attack here? I think I have to. That's not ideal. So we need two more lands to get our green dragon in the air. There's one land. I think we still attack here. Probably gonna steal my Elter Guard Ranger here if I had to guess. No stealing. Just gonna take the two here. Valor Singer, okay. Ghoul, not okay. If I attack with the Ranger, it's gonna block with a 1-1. One, one. So I just have to hope they don't draw a price of loyalty, and I do draw land. Say only once each turn. Okay. It's easy to walk. Didn't make sense to attack there because they'd kill me on the crackback. They can still steal my dragon with the price of loyalty and I'd basically be dead. But nothing I can do to prevent that. Looks like he's doing some combat math. Red Dragon, that'll do it. Probably attack all here, no? Okay. So by giving the dragon bonus, he has to block it or else he dies. But we're still in really bad shape. And that's game. Let's listen in to Wizard. Yum. And we get to play Red Dragon. You'd draft price more vigorously. Yep. Um, and that was that was my worst. That was my worst fear. But even if I concede out game one, I did win games two and three. 
so I, it kind of, I guess, works. Like, you know, let's say, let's say I just give you the win in round and in, in game one, which would have happened. You know, you would get the, you would get the, you would win the game, and then we would play games two and three. I guess it's a little bit different, but yeah, I'm sorry. I felt really bad. I don't know what happened too, because I clicked on it and then it just reverted to the <laughs> other one. But that's stupid of me, and I apologize. I'm sorry, Cawthorn. Sorry. But it does suck that the games were not good. Well, actually, game two was was very intriguing. But it has the best made a deck. I'm going to give you one for that. Has the best made a deck. You know what's funny, Cawthorn, is that we didn't find any price of loyalties until Act 3. We saw three of them. I kept thinking ghouls speculating um, on seeing the price of loyalties. And we ended up getting three. I took two of his price of loyalties. We got literally all of them in Act 3. We got one. Did we get, a, did we get one? Pick eight. In Act 3, maybe? Something like that. It was kind of crazy. Well, that was frustrating. It is what it is. Waiting for our next round. The tutorial's a way to learn, Ronnie. One of tutorial colors angered you? Yeah, I can understand that. Oh, uh, let's see who we're playing. It might be a while. I'm playing the loser of round two, Wyoming and Al Gore. Play a fun game while we wait. No sense to just hanging around doing nothing. Try to keep an eye on chat, see when people get done. This is uh, my old white deck. Haven't played it in a, or updated it since Gal time, basically. So this isn't a great hand, but we're gonna keep it. Gonna be a long game. Our opponents taking forever just to decide what they want to do with their hand. The world tree. Red green pathways. Probably white too. Oh, Tibble's Trickery. Fun. Gotta love this deck. If they hit something big, we'll just concede. This is a fun combo deck, um, but it is not very good at actually running things. If you don't get the combo, you pretty much lose. 
So I get a Genesis Ultimatum, put top five cards your library into play. Okay. Yep, we're done. Not gonna bother playing that. Let's try again. This is a much better hand. Opponent goes first though, which is not great for an aggro deck. This is definitely an aggro deck. They're playing a version of mono red aggro, okay. Turn two Ugin sounds really good. Yeah, it's a little good. Kill our savior. No surprise there. Probably hoping they have another kill spell for the aspirant now. And then assuming they play, the giant will skyclave apparition it. But I have a feeling they're gonna... That's an interesting choice. That's not great for us. Imagine they play that on the Robber of the Rich. Oh, they could do that. It's played the wrong way and should have played the Faceless Haven, but I did not. Four brand's bad. That's really not great for us. And we really do not have an answer for that, unfortunately. So we're probably gonna lose this one. Don't know, they must have Ember Cleave. Yep. Well, tonight is not going well for anything, chat. It's a good thing we're not playing ranked. Let's try again. While we wait for our next Wizard Cup match. Appreciate it. If anybody watching hits that thumb up button, definitely helps me out.
Um, probably block the serpent. Discard a card to save our seasoned hollow blade. Got a Scooz, that's not great for us. Although they're stuck on land, so that is good for us. They also have snow land, so we're gonna get Redain out so that their next land comes into play tapped. No brainer move right there. Kids have been extra sweet to you today. They know you have COVID, RT Hayes. It's as simple as that. So do you get paid time off work for a couple weeks while you outweigh the quarantine period? Get rid of the scoos here. I don't really want to discard anything here. Mine was also, it's like they know. Yeah, cats are uh, pretty intuitive from what I've heard. Well, that's no fun. They get a 2-2 two -two out of that. They're still stuck on mana. I feel for my opponent. Hmm, what do we play here? Microphone went out there. Sorry about that, guys. You have to use two days of time off and the rest is taken care of. I don't understand why you have to use two days when it's your workplace's fault that you got COVID to start with. But I guess that's a story for another day. Emily, how are you doing? We're drafting tonight. Um, but while we wait for our next round, we get to play some standard. Our opponent's mulliganed already. Should probably be checking in on the wizard cup. Dr. Stupid's ready. Don't know who that is. like I have to uh, go play a game now. Time for round two. <laughs> Could be playing Wyoian. We have to do a direct challenge. Now you have me wanting to quick draft. Why? So you can play red black and try to beat everybody else who's playing red black? That's what quick draft was last time I saw it. Hey look, we get another crap hand chat. 
Guess we keep it. Hope our opponent has a slow start. Well, they get whatever color they need to start. It's good news for them. If we draw another land, just my luck. Well, this is just bad for us all around. That will be growing quickly, and we don't have a way to deal with it. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good bomb and draft. A secret door. Okay. Hey, look, something we can play, chat. Gonna have to pay up if they want their guild three thief to get through. Oh, of course. Just put our only thing asleep. Got it. Guess we decide to gain some life here. Guild Thief's gonna be a problem. Nice, they just let it through. Sweet! Roll a natural 20. Have to have 6 mana to activate that, they only have 5 right now. That's good news for us. Too bad Rat Dragon doesn't have haste. What they do here. I think I'm okay with that. Or do I want to kill the door? I'm okay with that. Hey look, a sleepy dragon. Wow, they didn't activate it. Wonder if that was a mistake. We're done on purpose. Ooh, that's good. Seven mana. Why on earth would I tap mana that way? So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Magic Missile the Flyer? I don't think so. I think we wait.
So we can morning star, move the morning star. They have three blockers. We could just make them have two blockers. That becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't think I like our attacks here. Well, we could kill the land and just be done with it. I think we'd stone attack here. Doesn't have haste. Till next turn. Well, that's unfortunate. They're one land short now for their storm giants. Unless they have a land. Wonder what dungeon they'll venture into. Just swinging by the premiere and live stream. Wanted to show some love. Appreciate a pause. Hope you're doing well. Congratulations on a thousand subscribers. Have an event we're playing in tonight. So, uh. It's lots of fun. Don't think we're gonna live much longer. So, I think we just have to figure out what our best method is here and go for it. Um. So if we attack all, they can only block three, right? So one, two, I think we win here. I think we just spread it out. I don't know, I can't math. We're just gonna go for it. I think we win because we get two two power creatures through and then we magic missile them for three. They can't do anything to venture. Math is for blockers, it's for attackers too, you know. Pac Man is bad at math. Um, they did have quite a few flyers, so we want to put Plummet in. Um, what do we want to take out? The Raper wasn't great here. That was a nail biter. So now you feel even worse? Did you just run over your second round opponent, wizard? What else do they have? Thanks for stopping by, wizard. Appreciate you. Two damage probably isn't gonna do much good against them. They're not playing green, so we get rid of Burning Hands. Probably want to put in a Longbow instead of the Rapier. Any enchantment removal? We do have you find a Cursed Idol, but I don't know that 
we really want to play it for that. I guess we could take out price of loyalty. Put one in there. You know, which might not be bad here either. They played Delina, I stole it, and that 20 of my Plundering Barbarian with a Golem play. Yeah, that'll do it. Now, Sea Wizard, you're good at these pod drafts, but when you draft in, uh, in Arena... Oh man, what the heck? Well, we don't need two of those. Get rid of the dragon. Oh, I forgot about the sleeps. You're right. And they apparently like Guild Thief. But the good news is, we can kill the Guild Thief this time. Even if they sleep it. Hopefully they waste the sleep on that. Ooh, their mana screwed. Poor opponent. Well, let's attack and see what they do. And block. Not terribly surprised there. Um, let's play this. Now we'll probably be mana screwed. Opponent gets the mana they need. Gonna charm sleep something for us here. Trying to decide which one. Power of persuasion. Well, that's less than ideal. Don't really have any four drops. I think we play the Prowler, make him waste mana, making the Guild Thief unblockable next turn. Tap land, okay. Now we're stuck on mana. Sweet, we rolled high. Have to log off for tonight. Have a good night, Emily. Appreciate you stopping by. Wow, Wizard hopped in YouTube chat to watch. I didn't even notice that. Okay, makes it unblockable, waste the mana. I think this is the point where we uh, consider killing it, but maybe not yet. I think we play the boule first. Even change your account so it's not your weird name. Yeah, it is Wizard138 now, isn't it? Oh no, you slept my boule. It's so mean of you, opponent. You guys, everybody go do me a favor right now. Pull up a browser tab, go twitch.tv slash wizard138, drop wizard a follow. Wizard is uh, trying to get to 1,000 Twitch followers before he streams for 365 days in a row. That's not fun, I don't know what is. Go help him out please.
Go give all the follows. Every one. Poor Wyoian. Each got mana screwed. There's not much else to say. Wizard, I should say, is a um, limited streamer. That means he streams. What? That was rude. I do not approve of such tactics, Wyoian. I'm confused what we're waiting for here. Um, we'll do this, I guess. Okay, so he didn't have a trick. Boule getting fat, all tapped out over there. So we will be playing the... Oh, I can't update my bracket. Whoops. Sorry, wizard, you'll have to update. Good games, Wyoian. The first game was close. Second game, you got mana screwed. Apologize for that. Never fun when you don't get to play the game. But yeah, you guys should go follow Wizard. He needs some follows. So, uh, go help him out. Let's see if I get over on Wizard stream, see what's going on over there. He's watching me. I'm watching him. Karani says, Thanks I'm amazing. Have you guys gone and followed? So, Who is following Wizard? Right. Everybody follows Wizard, right? Oh, he's close to 850. He's at 849. There we go. Waffle Fries and Myth. Thank you guys very much. Wizard's going to S Hunters games. That sounds good. Buried alive. Appreciate y'all heading on over there. Very cool of y'all. Thank you very much. I do attempt to keep like games on while I'm playing this. To get like downtime, so it's a little bit it's a little bit tough. See uh we're Thanks playing for next round. Buried alive, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I like it how it's buried buried alive. Playing the loser of flu bab and jam chat. I appreciate the follow. Cheers to you, I appreciate it. Which appears to not be if, streaming. Um, Anybody is interested in joining the Discord and interested Whoa, in playing in we got something going on on uh, ours, if I can look at it. Karani, just subscribing us. now? Come on, Karani. We do them weekly, so Come on, Karani, you weren't subscribed? You're more than welcome to join us I'm hurt. I'm hurt, Karani. Hurt. But thank you for subscribing, I appreciate you. Okay, well, we'll uh, head off of Wizards. Realized you missed it. You're sorry. It's okay. You corrected your grave mistake. I forgive you. Um, so Wizard is just like rolling all over everybody tonight. That's kind of crazy. While we wait, let's just go play some, uh, some standard. For all two people still watching the stream. Appreciate you hanging out. Clicking the like button. Open out the YouTube algorithm. This hand is not great, but we're going to keep it. Because why not? Ooh, we got a Luminarch. I'm all for that. All my usual people are bored because I'm not opening packs. I'm playing Magic. What's up with that? Gonna kill some stuff of mine now, I'm feeling. There goes the Aspirant. Oh, the Speaker. Ballsy move. Unfortunately, can't play the apparition because I don't have another uh, another planes. Need two planes to play that one. 
Oh, Myth got a subscription over on Wizard Stream. Congratulations, Myth. Lurking and drafting. What are you drafting? How's it going? Be right back, guys. I think my dog's barking. Follow now that you kind of know the ropes makes sense okay so we have some options now before we time out let's just go after them here oh I guess they just didn't want to wait for us that's fine too Black Raid got a Zorn and the Giant for rares. Oh, Zalto, Fire Giant. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see if the bracket's updated yet. It is not. Let's play another game. See how many uh, followers Wizard has now. Eight hundred and fifty. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Not the best hand, but it'll do. More mill. Gotta love it. Killing my 1 1. That's a decision. That was a poor decision, but also a decision. Feeling pretty confident attacking with a zero three. Please don't kill my aspirant. That's not fun. Ooh, that was nice. Please don't kill my aspirant. We have first strike, so we can block the scavenger, no problems. When we get Sentinel's eyes out next turn, we get to attack. Assuming they don't kill the Aspirant. It's a big assumption. Kind of confused by this move, to be completely honest. They either have a trick. They do have a trick. Okay. What are they going to grab back? Been a while since I played against Sarah San. But it's not a problem. We can handle it.
trying to figure out what to play. That's going to help them a little bit, but not as much as they probably hope. Soaring Thought Thief. Gonna get through and steal another creature here, I assume. That's what I would do. What are you doing, opponent? That was not smart at all. If they'd given protection before they attacked, they could have gotten through, because you can't block if your opponent has protection from your color. That was just a big, massive waste on our opponent's side. Well, let's say we got this one handled, guys. Of course, it's not over yet. Opponent could still throw some uh, curveballs out for us, but 